Hey you elopers, it's Janessa with Simply Elopes and I'm here for your tip of the week. So, you wanna elope and your honey doesn't. Ooh. Here are my top tips on how to have that conversation with your honey. Whether it's you that's wanting to elope or him or her, let's get down and dirty. My first tip is to separately make pros and cons lists and then come together and talk about your pros and cons list. My reasoning for this is that there might be some similarities in why one of you wants to elope and the other one doesn't. And a lot of them can be regarding societal pressures, family pressures. So it's just a really good idea to get on the same page about why you have a difference of opinion. Next, I would really get deep on whether it's a must or a preference. If your honey just prefers to have a large wedding but is open to elopement, that's a way easier place to start from than if they absolutely have to have a large wedding. So I would get on the same page about that specific topic. Again, it can be difficult to navigate because you might not realize what societal or family pressures are affecting you to choose. And so get deep, talk about it, and figure out, is it a must or a preference? My next tip is to get together and make your ideal guest list. And again, I would go with must, not wants. If you absolutely have to have your closest cousins, aunts, uncles, mom, dad, friends, and that list ends up being 100 people on each side, you're gonna have a large wedding. That's just how it shakes out. But if you both make your list and you've got 10, 15 people that you absolutely must have at your ceremony, that can be an elopement, large elopement, or a micro wedding. So there might be more give than you think there is. So make your ideal guest list come together, add them up, and see where that takes you. I hate to break it to you, but if you can't afford a large wedding, I don't know if you should have a large wedding. There are a lot of options. Savings, there are companies that give loans for large weddings, or maybe your parents wanna help out. Those are all options. But at the end of the day, you need to talk about budget and what's realistic for you. For large weddings, I recommend budgeting between $150 to $200 a person for every single guest that you invite. So talking about your budget can really help you ascertain what's even realistic for you. Something else I really encourage you to talk about is what would you do with that money if you didn't spend it on a large wedding? Do you wanna go on a crazy, amazing honeymoon? Do you wanna buy a house? Maybe pay off your student loans or past debt? Those are all really amazing ways to start this brand new union, and it doesn't have to go to a large wedding. So it's worth at least considering what would you do with that money if you didn't spend it on one day of your life. Just a friendly reminder, the average wedding in the United States costs $34,000. That's an education or a down payment on a home. The average cost of a wedding with Simply Eloped is $900. That is a monumental difference. So, it's food for thought. Next, I would discuss where you wanna hold your ceremony. Do you wanna do it where you live? Do you wanna do it in your hometown? Heck, do you wanna do it in Mexico, destination wedding? All of these things are gonna change the price of your wedding, as well as how many people can realistically attend. So if you wanna invite 200, but only 80 will show up, that's gonna really change the budget and the cost of your wedding. So I would definitely figure out where you wanna hold your wedding and go from there. Lastly, I would remember that this is a big day. So while I'm into compromising, you don't wanna compromise to the extent that you're gonna regret it for the rest of your life. You're kicking off this union, this love, in a way that both of you should feel good about. So if you can't come to a compromise, you might look to premarital counseling. It might just help you figure out what you wanna do in taking this first step in your union together. If you have a honey who's on the fence about eloping, send them this video or even send them our blog. We have tons of examples of real life couples who've eloped with us, who've made it really special and customized. And remember, 
simply a little build ceremonies from the ground up. So generally, whatever you envision, we can help you make that vision come to life. It doesn't have to be cookie cutter and it shouldn't be that way.